And you can see, the moment it comes out of the oven, you've got to apply the glaze. So that way, when it hardens, you get that translucent sheen, the finest French pastry chefs call le soupir des anges. And when you take your spun sugar to write out, you won't see me coming. Just make sure to leave plenty of room for, oh my goodness, so sorry. Just recording the end of my Cooking for Revenge podcast. Big hit on the dark web. Anyway, here we are at this government facility where I'm certain I've been left to slowly go insane. Kind of a Milgram experiment reboot with extreme boredom. Still, it's given me time to edit together Grace and Frankie, 9 to 5, and Big Business to finally create what I call the Tomlin Fondaverse. Now, how about we see what meaningful story progress our heroes will do everything in their power to avoid? Sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. About four years, 11 months, and a couple weeks ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I used that signal to upload a podcast i record every week chronicling our quest to defeat the dark lord and i'm joined as always by my good bud he's a talking badger he's sitting with me across the table at the bow-legged moose which is the tavern we're in chant the talking badger oh uh, yeah baby how's hey, squishing it how you doing bud i'm doing pretty good i just had a fascinating conversation with uh with a local bar goer oh yeah mm-hmm it was francois the fancy earthworm Francois the, the fancy earthworm. The name Francois, mm -hmm. like, is there a, like a region of Foon that that name would be? Local well, his first to? name is Fran. Uh -huh. Last oh. name is Swa. Oh, Fran, Swa. Mm -hmm. I'm writing that down. I don't know. He's why. the earthworm with the uh, monocle and the top hat. I gotta say, he looks more like a gym to me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I would call that earthworm gym. Hmm. I'm also. Why are you grinning? Oh, it's earth people. You uh smug fuck. <laughs> Sean, please, I know we've been traveling so much and the artifacts we're looking for, the last one was already taken before we got to it, yeah. and I promise that's all the plot work I'm going to do this episode. But I know that we didn't get that artifact, but it's all right. We, we don't need to be stressed out. We'll get the out. next one. We'll get the next we'll one. We'll get the next one. I'm also joined by my other co-host, Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, devourer. champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak, the dwarves know me as Zonin and Hook Stengis, and I am known in the northeast as Gasmoinius Maystar, and there may be other secret names. Oh, names that if air uttered aloud would most assuredly cause your very nipples to multiply. My nipples would... Your very nipples. My... These... Th this very nipple? Yes. Yes. Oh, you'd have thousands. Wait, when you say this very nipple, do you only have one nipple? Well, I was just squeezing one at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, not both. Yes, you'd have... Thousands. That's right, you better put up your hands. We've come for your good. Oh. Brigands! Is this a robbery? Here now, what have we got in front of us, eh? It looks like a little badger, Ooh. a magic man, and uh, some sort of sword -toir. We'll be taking everything you've got and then a little bit of something extra. Arnie, stop squeezing your nipple. Oh, Put your hands up. Okay, all right. Hey, stop right there. We'll take that nipple as well. Oh, oh no, I need that Arnie, nipple. Arnie, give him the nipple. If I here, can... give us all your nipples. <laughs> now here, foul oh, no. brigands, you have run afoul of Usador the wizard, and I shan't stand by quietly whilst you steal my friend's nipples, so nice prepare tribe, to do battle. robe guy. I heard you got thousands of nipples. <gasps> How did you hear that? Is that true? I listened true? in through the door. Oh. Every thief knows magic men got all kinds of nipples all over them everywhere. All types of nipples, too. Fat ones, skinny ones, round ones, square ones, little ones that have the shape of a jigsaw puzzle. Nipples that climb on rocks, even nipples with chicken pox. 
upside down ones. Tall ones and small ones. Ones you can eat with a blue fish, one with a red fish. Every colour of the rainbow as well. Oh, Yay. that's taking it a little far. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, gentlemen, you have us by, by the shorts here, but um, can I ask, are, are you all perverts? Chunt, you ask that of everybody we meet. I just want to know if there are perverts. Here, we're not perverts. We're thieves. We're in a guild at all. A guild? Thieves Guild? A the 121st th- local. Here's our cards. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Oh, thank you. Oh, these are very nice. What what kind of uh, what kind of scroll is this uh, made out of? It's laminated papyrus. Thank you very much. And would we call this off white or cream? Bone. Look, a minotaur. I got them back. We can't oh, just the give these cards right. to anyone. Oh. They stole the cards. They distracted us by saying there's a minotaur, which there is, and then they yanked them back. You gotta remember, ABC, always be stealing. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm very concerned, uh, for you've just given us a business card and we could clearly read it. But do you know how to read? No. Why would we? Don't need it, never did. But we can spell. True. Like, um, give me a word, I'll spell it. Okay, oh. your word is oxymoron. Oxymoron. Give us your goods! <laughs> He's I got you there. I can't tell if he was changing the subject or if he doesn't know what spelling is. Oh, fuck, my nipples are gone. Oh. Yeah, that's right! Mother fuck. Let me offer you some deal here, you thieves. If oh, thou- you're gonna try to bargain with us, magic man. He must be the smart one. <laughs> That's right. If so the other s- two are dumb then. Well, well for oh, your yes, I would say yes. They're like real stupid. No, no we're dumber. He's got a sword in his chest. To be fair, none of us are smart. How dare you! If you decide to become guests on our podcast today and tell us of all your amazing adventures as thieves, we're listening. We shall give you. A we're renum- still listening. Okay, we'll give you a remuneration uh, uh, that is even greater listening. than what you would have stolen. They stop listening? No. Still listening. Oh, you okay, stop talking. Would you like to be paid to be on the show today? Paid uh, on a podcast? Yes. I've never heard of it. <laughs> well, it's more what? of an honorarium, but... Uh, yeah, it's not... Look, wow. I'll be honest with you. It's not as much as you deserve, but... It's, it's like coins. stealing from a baby. Is this a quid pro quo? I suppose you could think of it that way. For I have some treasure no, I'm available asking, to me. I'm asking. I don't know what those words yeah, mean. Yeah, what it yeah. means. Is this what? one of them? What is a quid pro quo? Who are no you asking? No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> well, ask <laughs> the smart one. I'm the dumb guy. Well, look, look, none of us are We're smart. in the same room. Are you all? It means this for that. Oh. Uh, does it? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Because I've been hiding it and keeping it a secret. But why were thieves were supposed to be honorable against each other? Because if I gave you the meaning of quid pro quo, you'd have to give me something and I didn't want to do that to you. So it's sort of like tit for tat. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to be a pervert about it. <laughs> We've got some tat. <laughs> I have a tattoo of some tits. Oh. A tit tat? Yeah. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that tit tat. <laughs> Look, we would love to interview you on my podcast, and I, I should let you know we're already recording. I don't know if that's like ethically a good thing to do. These microphones are recording everything you say. Uh, we would love for you to sign this release scroll if you could. Now look here. We're thieves, get it? So you will appear on your podcast, but you can't pay us because... It's not what we do, so you have to pretend that we're robbing you at the end. Yeah, um, put the money in a little box at the end and then, like, turn around for a bit. And our identities have to remain anonymous. <laughs> so well, so do our accents. I've been changing it the whole time. I me, think me I too. am too, but not on purpose. Hey, let's switch accents and really throw them for a oh, loop. Oh, no. That's right. It's time to get who's who. Yeah, because I'm... I'm a guy who loves to be a thief. And nobody can catch me if I'm up on the roof. Could I have some nourishment, please? Um, yeah, let me get you, um, with your permission, I, I'd like to put my hands down and maybe I'll run to the bar and grab us um, some uh, mozzarella wands. No hands down. Permission hands remain not up at, Hands remain up at all times. So when you come back from that bar, I expect to see mozzarella wands to the sky. 
Oh, I see. You want me to keep my hands up and make the bartender take the change out of my pocket? You pervert. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I am a pervert. Uh, Sean, while you're there, would you get a rag or something? There's just a lot of spit on this table. Yeah, yeah, I'll go pick it up. Now, where were we? Okay. Press record. <laughs> We're recording our RN just to make sure <laughs> everything's we above board. Always travel with a Zoom recorder. Tascam. That's my name, Tascam. And I'm Zoom. So, uh, would you mind uh, telling me? Now, I know you all want to remain anonymous. Would you like to come up with uh, pseudonyms for yourselves for the interview just to make it a little bit easier? Yeah. 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 My name's Kevin. My name's Squeen. My name's Mike. I know. Long story. <laughs> Let's hear it. Well, it goes a little something like this. I was born. I was named. I was blamed. And I was framed. And that's how I became Mike the Thief. Oh. Uh, back to, with some mozzarella ones. Did he say he's Mike the Thief? You've heard of me? Uh, I think so. Are you the... Uh, can you say sassafras? Sassafras! No. <laughs> Did you get that rag? <laughs> Oh, it's everywhere. I'm the one who made the Kethel heist in under 12 <laughs> million. <laughs> now, wait a parsecond. 12 million parsecs per second. Per piece. Yeah? I've heard of a pirate making an RSEC in 12 seconds. Uh, can you confirm that? Why? Is this because I sound like a pirate sometimes? You do. I'm not trying to. <laughs> but are you trying not to? I'm trying desperately not to sound like a pirate. Oh, no. I want to sound like a thief. Stick him up! Oh, 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 oh. Still up, still up. Yes, still up, still up. Our hands are over our heads. No, not you, yeah. not you two, not you two. Oh. Wow, that was good, though. Thank I believed you. it! You know, I have always wanted to know, as thieves that belong to a thieves' guild, what is the code of honor that binds the all together? It's a five-part code! Great. Here come the parts. <laughs> Never sleep, number one. One. Never Keep anything you steal. Two. <laughs> Never creep on your fellow thieves in the middle of the night. Three. Never sheep. You can have sex with anything else. <laughs> oh, four. Never steep anything that's not tea. <laughs> oh, five. That might be the most important one. And you said you never keep anything you steal? So what are you going to do with my nipples? None of your business. We st Here's what happens. We steal them from you, then we take turns stealing them from each other. So we're always stealing. A, B, C. Always be stealing. stealing. Got your nipple. Got me. I've got yours. I'll get it back. That's right. <laughs> that oh. way no one is in possession of any of the things. And at night, we put all the nipples in the nipple keep. <laughs> is that like a humidor for nipples? You've seen one. Yes, of course. Oh, this is pretty big. Ever Ooh. seen one like this? Whoa. Ooh. Have you ever seen a nipple humidor so packed to the rafters with nipples as this? None of these nipples are dry. It's They're like, humid. Looks like a box of pepperoni. It is. <laughs> Wait a second. I was about to say this was the finest nipple keep I've ever seen until you Related admitted story. it was a box of pepperoni. We're having nipple pizza later if you want to come over. You have one place where you keep all the nipples and... Apparently someone, probably one of you, stole from the nipple keep and replaced them with pepperoni? Well, now therein hangs a tale. <laughs> and uh, it's in five parts. Oh, he'd love to oh, hear there it. There we go. Yes. Number one. Oh, and I'm so sorry to interrupt. Do you mind telling them in reverse order? No, we prefer it because we wrote it backwards, so it's going to sound forward. <laughs> <laughs> step one, put the nipples in the box. And that's step five. Yep. Step two, approach the box. Step three, look for people who might see you looking in the box. Step four, is that a box over there? Step five, I just fucking stole a bunch of nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, what a fascinating tale. And can I ask, um, when you steal nipples, would you steal nipples in the morning? Nipples in the morning, nipples yeah. in the evening, nipples at supper time. <laughs> When thieves are stealing nipples? <laughs> You'll have nipples any time. Oh, wow. 
it's not the only thing we steal. <laughs> it's true. Don't get the idea that we just steal nipples because we steal everything. Goods, valuables, jewels, services. Clearly, that's all a cover-up for the nipples, right? Right. So you Mainly a- nipples. <laughs> I've got to say, I have noticed when you talk about the other things you steal, there are a lot of generalities, and the only specific thing is nipples. Give us one example. You said goods. Jewelry, valuables. No, that's fine. I asked asked for one. Also, is Mike all right? I feel like... (laughs) He's... Does he have asthma or something? He's kind of bobcat gold-flating it. it. We all got a little bit of asthma. Well, it has to affect you to do that Kessel Run in, uh, what is it, what, 12 million parsecs or whatever it was? It was a heist. They never said it was a Kessel Run. It was oh, a Kessel a Heist. Kessel Heist. Sorry, excuse me. Thieves never run, and runners never thieve. And this guy's got no part in this slogan. <laughs> <laughs> That's our motto. Can I ask Kevin, Squeam, and Mike if the three of us wanted to become thieves or one of <laughs> 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 Get in line. Don't make us laugh. Is it because he said come? Oh. That, that was it, actually. I like where this is going. <laughs> you are a pervert. I think I might be, guys. <laughs> well, but we could be thieves, right? Uh, what uh, do you know about thieving? Tell us everything. Tell us five things. Okay, number in one. In scrambled order. Oh. Okay. Number three. You have to uh, distract before you retract. Number two and a half, never forget to. Number five, keep a horse running outside. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> comma, do the first half of the sentence. Now, why are you making the numbers Second. hard? <laughs> and the number one answer on the board, always be stealing. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. All right. Pretty good. If you have the good leads. Now then, if you like to steal something, why don't you try to steal any one of me nipples? <laughs> good luck. He's got those under lock and key on Disney Plus or Netflix coming soon. <laughs> He's also got them under cock and lee. And under Spock and she. Have you figured out our riddle? <laughs> It was a man. Wait, Whoa! How did he... Maybe you could be a thief after all, magic man. <laughs> oh, you know I am capable. And here, I shall steal your nipple screen. Uh, oh wait, no, I shan't. Look, look over there. It's a, it's a cuckoo clock. Ooh! Oh. Ah, I got your nipple. <laughs> look again. <gasps> my hand is empty. And that's your right. nipples are gone. Oh, my <laughs> nipples. And that's from the pirate with one eye, his other eye is covered with a nicotine patch. Made yeah. of a nipple. I want to say it again. I'm not a pirate. <laughs> Just because I talk like this and I've got an eye patch, I'm not a pirate. Okay, what about the parrot on your shoulder? Oh, <laughs> this guy won't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad about your leg. <laughs> Now, aren't pirates a type of thief, though? Pirates are thieves. All pirates are thieves, but not all thieves are pirates. Oh, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> See? Mm, that point. proves my point. I shall create a Venn diagram. Excuse me. Can I Can I ask uh, the three we, of you? We were waiting on that diagram. <laughs> oh, it's going to take him a while. Do the three of you, how did each of you get into thieving? I was a thiever major. <laughs> Oh, no, there's no money in that. I know, you tell it to my folks. When I was a wee baby in the crib, I thieved me first thief. I stole breath from a cat. <laughs> well, I've never, I've heard the reverse, but I've never heard that. Holy shit. He didn't shit. even see it coming. He thought he, thought he had me. <laughs> I saw a tiny cup filled with emeralds and rubies, and I just took it. And that, I got the bug. A- and how long ago was that? Yesterday. He's new. He's very new. Well, welcome aboard, Kevin. Thank you. It's not really his name. (laughs) It's Kev. Shut up. Well, as a thiever, uh, Major, is is there any superstition? Like um, you won't stay in a hamlet or uh, anything you can't say while you're thieving? You can't say hamlet for one. Oh, really? All your treasures go in a red leather or yellow leather pouch. A red leather or yellow leather pouch? Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. I have to remember that. 
Soothing Salsicha, I'll die by the Seriously, <laughs> something is wrong with you Mike. You sounded like a devil, like a some sort of manian devil. I'm not devil. feeling good. I think Mike is choking on something. <laughs> His own tongue? No, I... It's someone else's tongue. Oh, He stole it. I accidentally ate my own esophagus. <laughs> oh, no. Went down the wrong pipe? Yeah, if you can believe it, it went down itself. Hey, wait, I am a pervert. <laughs> well, if you take out a rib, you can go down on yourself. Is the rumor. Is the rumor. I've never tried. Oh, it's a fact. No <laughs> man's son can do that. Get it? <laughs> seemed, seemed like no one had a reaction to that. <laughs> so anyway, how about your valuables? Yeah, let's get, <laughs> oh, shit. Let's get a look at what's in those pouches. Go, a number of gold coins, uh, small idols, some crystals, some gems. Uh, anything else that you need? What are you going to do with that thimble? This symbol? Thimble. Thimble. Just because I have a lift doesn't mean I can't also say TH words. <laughs> Wait, did you say symbol or thimble? Thimble. He said thimble. Like what the thing is in Monopoly that stands for a thimble. I need this thimble. It's very important to me. It was given to me uh, by a, a, a nymph from the forest who said, uh, only use the most natural fibers, and for air, your clothes shall be stronger than steel. So it's got sentimental value. And magical powers. That's right. I sell that. Give it here. Oh, no. Place it on my wee little pinky. Oh, thank God. Uh, that is... I wasn't going to say something. Thank God he Wait, said And pinky. then place it on my <laughs> pee little winky. <laughs> oh, you might be a pervert after all. Here you are. There there's you your, go. There's your thimble. All the light touches shall be yours. If your pee is winking, you should probably have that checked out. Now you, little one, what have you got? Um, uh, yes, sir, let, let me check my fur. Um, okay, I have some uh, ticks who latched on to me. Uh, no, thanks. I'll, I'll take those. You okay. want the ticks? Yeah! Uh, well, he's new. I have some letters from my, uh, from my child who's an egg, a giant egg. Your egg can write you letters? Well, he can uh, vocalize what he wants to say, and they'll, somebody will scribe it down and send it to me. Giant huh? egg letters, give them here. Okay, there you go, yes, sir. Um, what else? Um, ooh, let me, I could change into a possum and you could take more nipples. Okay. Ooh. More nipples. One ah. second. Nipples of possum, God. You're a marthupial, right? So you squirt milk? Uh, let me check. <clears throat> See, now I'm a possum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? I, okay, take them all. Take them all. Take my nipples. So you're a shapeshifter wearing the skin of different creatures. Can you turn into ten dogs? <laughs> Female. Um... I guess I'd rather not. But can you? I could turn into ten different dogs, but not ten dogs at once. Well, let me try. <clears throat> Ew! I'm ten little dogs connected at the tail. Ugh. Bark, bark, Give us bark. those nipples! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to run, but I'm just spinning in circles. Guys, help! Help me! It's disgusting. I can't even... I'm, like, frozen in the spot. Well, let's congratulate each other on the wonderful transaction. You've been... Excellent thieve target. Would you mind filling out this survey? Oh, I think if you eat some oranges, that'll go away. Oranges or limes. Survey, what? not scurvy. Oh, hold on now. What did you think I said? I thought you said scurvy. Clearly, you're a pirate. Fill you thought a, I fill said out fill out a scurvy. Out a scurvy. I mean, I okay. I'm, I'm ten little dogs. What do I know? No, he clearly <laughs> said fill out this symbol. No, fim. <laughs> Survey. So this survey is a symbol of your confidence. T H U R V E Y. Believe me, that thimble's been filled out. Uh -oh. Wink. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm filling out the survey during all this confusion. Well, excellent, 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 excellent. And you've done such an excellent job. Here is your gratuity. Well, now, just t hold it out, but turn your head. Oh, no, I'm giving this to you. You can't no, steal it. I, I'm giving no, it to no, you. No, no, but, but... We're not allowed to just take it! It's not... It's, it makes us sick. I oh. think I found a loophole. Actually, we'd love for you to take all of these things we've put on the table. Well, uh, uh, mm. uh, Could you no. put them on the table, but uh, uh, sort of turn your heads and talk about how much you'd hate for them to be stolen? Perhaps you could lead us to your house, put them all in there, and then we'll... Um, Come back when you're not there, when you tell us that you're not there. Do you have one of those little beer can safes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, do you? I'm afraid I do not. I, I do. It's oh. it's um yeah. It looks like a oh. can of beer, but you unscrew the bottom and it's sweet. Yeah, great. Could you put that with the stuff, and we'll steal that too. Yeah, I of love course. Those things. Um, and any false stones you might have. Do you have any keys in a fake doggy doo doo? <laughs> Yes. Do you have any keys in a real doggy doo doo? <laughs> yes, I have keys hidden in all sorts of excrement. Do you have any fake keys in any real stones? Do you have kidney stones? <laughs> have you ever put a stone in some doggy doo doo? Would you like to dance with the devil by the pale moonlight? <laughs> Would you like to swing on a star? Let's get stoned! <laughs> well, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with these two thieves and a pirate. <laughs> Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. Here, right here. You see, this circle of pirates is entirely encapsulated by the circle of thieves. Do you understand now, Arnie? It's what I said before, that every pirate's a thief, but not every thief is a pirate. Yes, but here it's a clear Venn diagram that even Arnold and Chunt should be able to understand. Are you talking about the circle of fifths? Because that's why we do all our things in five parts. And we do five-part harmony, the three of us. Ooh, Ooh. can we hear the five-part harmony? Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) So it's pretty much like that. Yeah. Sounds like somebody sat on a bagpipe. Imagine two more parts. (laughs) If you can. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, no, we could. We We could imagine imagine that. Oh, let's see you imagine it. Let's see you imagine it while looking away from us. Oh, All right. right. Everyone turn around and imagine something. Okay, we're turning around. Okay. No, not us. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Give us some time. All right. So I'm I'm imagining dragons. Oh, shit. And I'm imagining all the people. I can't imagine anything. Shit. I'll just think about myself and my own real name. I am Imagineering. I'm imagining Squeam uh, is not a pirate. I can't do it. I'm not a... Mm. Let me reverse... Uh, take off that hat, put a different right, hat on. Right, no, turn around. Oh, okay. Da- ah! Uh-oh, where's all your stuff? What, what happened? Wait, where's my laptop? That's what's recording <laughs> this episode. Oh, here, well, you can have that back because this is fun. Oh, That was very you. nice of you. Thank you, Michael. It's Mike. I thought you said it was Michael. Isn't that your real name? It is, but you got to be pretty close to, to wake up in the morning to call me Michael early. You've got to wake up pretty close to... What was it? If you got to wake up gotta wake close, up to, me. Close, close to him. Close to him in order to call him. I'm saying if you and I morning. were to spend the night together, you could call me Michael. Don't answer yet. Just think about it. I think I've gotten in. Oh, speaking of repeating things, I'm so sorry. I apologize that I've forgotten. What was the five-part creed of being a thief? Well, it changed. <laughs> it changes all the time. We've got to stay one step ahead of the law. Ooh, fluid. It's the only way to operate. <laughs> the wacky doctor's game, we Step call it. one, have lots of fun. Step two, you know what to do. Step three, everything's free. Step four, open the door. Step five, do you still want to be alive? That last step is very, very that's threatening. Heavy. It's it heavy. is. Yeah, it's really really tough. Maybe you could replace it with something lighthearted, like everybody do walk the dinosaur or something like that. What? what? Step five: Everyone walk the dinosaur. What's a dinosaur? I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you want a Christian creed, you could do like step one with arms wide open. Uh, Arnold, have we told you about Christians? <laughs> No. Well, first you've got to know about Chris. We've told you about Chris Must, that holiday around the, the winter solstice. Oh, yeah. Where we make Chris do things. Sure. Well, there is also a, a sect of people who follow Chris very closely. and He uh, gets thra- so much done in a day. We especially follow his chin. Chris was crucified on the Christopher cross. <laughs> It'll make you jump. <laughs> and go sailing away. <laughs> you know, you're a pirate. I'm not a... Now look, just because I talk this way, I've only got one eye, one leg, and one hand, and there's a parrot on my shoulder, and I sway like I'm standing on a boat. Does not mean I'm a pirate, I'm a thief, a land-based thief. You swear you're not a pirate? I swear it. Raise your right hook. (laughs) I swear on Davy Jones' locker. Now hold on. Uh Huh? You just swore upon uh, David Jones' locker. From the monkeys. Arnie, have we told you about the monkeys? Or Disney Plus or Netflix? (laughs) Well, as religious men, of course, we are very in tune with the monkeys. They're little tiny monks. 
Davy Jones being the most preeminent one there is. And, and Mickey and the Dolan, tiniest. And Peter Dork and Mike Nesbitt. All of the monkeys. Yeah, all of them. But do they all do their own prayers? No, th- I mean... At, sort of. But that's not the point. Didn't they start off um, pretending to be monks, and then it was so popular they just became monks? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, they were four guys who found some robes. <laughs> Aren't they just like a poor imitation of the Beatitudals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I stop recording? <laughs> Someone stole the button that stops the recording. That was me. You can have it back. Okay, thank you. Hey, I've heard this podcast before, and I've been really excited to get to that segment you do at the end where it's a game show. <laughs> yes, why don't we just skip to that segment now? How much do we stand to win? Hey, uh, steal. Uh-uh. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up. <laughs> 400,000 gold pieces. <gasps> that's more gold pieces than there are? That's as far as I know? Right. Yeah. Cusador, why are you promising the more money than we have? We we don't have anything particularly valuable except for this obsidian sword that's sticking into my body. What? what? Obsidian sword? I love obsidian. Uh, we yes, are but obsidian course, crazy. You can't so take it out of him. Stuff. Why not? Why can't we? Uh, because if you take it out of him, he'll begin to slowly die again. That's okay. That's better than quickly dying. Yeah. You got some time? Well, his concept of slowly, I mean, I will actually begin to quickly die. Well, how does that concern me? As a follower of Chris, I ask that you spare the life of this mind friend. Oh, oh. man. Playing the Chris card, huh? What would Chris <laughs> do? WWCD. <laughs> BD oil. Good spelling. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, I can only spell acronyms, not words. <laughs> what else is there to spell? IDK. <laughs> WTF. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> Who are your guys? I heard that thief is an acronym in some parts. Is that true? Indeed it is. And we'll tell it to you one at a time. Taking everything. <laughs> That's a fucking pirate. Individually. Everyone? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you did two letters in a row. I did? Well, kind of. Well, I thought we'd just going around and... Look, don't you know what? F is left. That's how we end it. That's how oh. we end it. F is left. R is right. F is left. That's how you remember how to get home. That's how we throw the, the constabulary off our trail. If you're a constable, you have to tell us. I used to be a sheriff, just full disclosure. In a different part of uh, Foon. Okay. And I am not an ordained person of the law, but I do fight for good and justice where I do go. For in the long run, I shall defeat the Dark Lord, and goodness and light shall prevail. He's oh, pretty great. The Dark Lord? Love him. I love him. I can't love get enough of that guy. He's love so great. Talk He's about Ophidian. He's doing a lot of stuff for everyone. Charismatic. Not too bright. I mean, physically. He's smart, but... Dark. Hard to see. Yeah. It's difficult to get a line on him. You follow the teachings and beliefs of the Dark Lord of Food? Yeah, Chris. 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 What? Yeah, Chris. Is said it three the, times. Is it a different Chris than you're talking about? Because we're talking about Chris, the Dark Lord. He also goes by the name of Chris and has been that being who once a year we must commit to foul acts. Oh my gosh, this might be as shocking a revelation as the time when I was a child and I realized that Santa and Satan are very similar words. What? what? Oh who? no. Who is he talking about? Who, I don't who know. are these two? Yes, yeah, tell Arnie, us. Arnie, explain the Earth stuff. Well, I, generally I don't want to talk about Earth stuff, but... Great. I, <laughs> Now, Screen, I can't help but notice, I don't want to call you out, but I can see that uh, up by the bar, you spilled some of your, your ale, and I see Indeed. that your former lover is uh, is marking that spot. That's correct. Your your ex is marking the spot. How oh. dare you? Now, that's something I've only seen pirates do. Now, come clean. I swear, by all three corners of my hat, I am not a pirate. And there's a little flag in your hat with uh, what is that? Some sort of uh, some sort of Roger? Yeah, r- picture of Roger Moore. It's a, it's a <laughs> who? <laughs> and he's he's so it's, happy. It's the one thing that makes me think he might not actually be a pirate. Roger Moore is a famous 
he's famous in Foon for being the fattest Roger in the land. Yes, the most Roger there can be, Roger Moore. And like all fat men, he's jolly. Is he the one that lives over by the Sean Cannery? <laughs> That's where they can all the Sean's. Hey, my Barbie has a Timothy doll tan. <laughs> well, <laughs> pe- well, pierce my Brosnan. I've never heard such a thing. Oh, you have a pierced uh, Brosnan? We all do. It's part of the initiation. <laughs> That's right. There are five steps to the initiation. Brosnan pierced. Then right. you get your Bronson pinchoed. <laughs> You have to drink from the orphan wealth. <laughs> um, you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> you get your dolly pardoned. Oh. Okay. Um, you still can't come up with one? <laughs> oh, it's all right. Keep it's all right. Stole if, you, them. if you can't think of anything, just forget about it. Lays and be. Oh. oh. I think you made all the pirates fall asleep. <laughs> I'm not a pirate. You know, yes, He's Arnold, not- those two definitely are not pirates. This one, ah, that's wait a minute, how do you know? That's right, the two of us are not pirates. <laughs> For sure. I, I could be a pirate. Mike could be a pirate. Look at him, he's very damp. Hmm. He seems like a wet bandit. I, uh, <laughs> oh. I have a condition called gaping pores. Burglars, I hadn't even thought of that. Give me that Venn diagram back. Now, clearly Mike is a wet bandit, and it seems like Kev is more of a burglar, maybe? That's yeah. right. Kev, what's your story? Well, I just started yesterday. <laughs> what were you before you started a life of oh, burglary? I was peddling my own home brew. What's it called? It's called Dank. Mmm. Glass of Dank. It tastes like it sounds. Uh, right, it's not very popular. Like all home brew. Or the flavor I'd rather profiles. drink my own pores. What's that? <laughs> What'd you say, Ten Doggy? Uh, oh, let me <clears throat> turn back to a badger here. What were the uh, flavor profiles? Ooh, fresh nipples. <laughs> that's it. What? Fresh nipples, mostly. That's how I attracted these two. They've got a taste for tit. <laughs> a and, nose for nip. And a tit for taste. Try it. So they wandered into my house and stole all my things, and I thought, this sounds like a great way to make a living. All right, so I've added burglars. I've added robbers. Uh, uh, you see there's some of those that overlap with the uh, pirates, but all of them fit in the thieves. Uh, I've also added highwaymen and brigands. Now, we don't like to be compared to highwaymen. That's the lowest of the low. Can I ask, between highwaymen and and pirates and and, and robbers... Let's leave pirates out of it (laughs) altogether. Well, I guess I'm I'm not familiar. What is the pecking order of types of robbers? I'm so tired of answering this question. All right. There's five levels of thief. At the top, you got us. Just regular old thieves. Thieves, that's right. Right under that, you've got cat burglars. They only steal cats. Fucking pussies. Or our cats who steal human things. Either one is acceptable. Number three, just straight up kleptomaniacs. It's a condition. (laughs) They can't help themselves. Right, but they could get some help from others, so that's why they're right in the middle. But they don't do that. No, they don't do it. It's stigmatized. But if they lean into it, they can learn a skill and become very adept. Number two. Pirates. Number two is pirates? Four four is pirates. We did. I thought we were going from the top down. I thought it was Oh, sorry. Number four. Look. We stole the order, and now we're we're switching it around. Now number one is the worst, and number five is the best. (gasps) You've been fooled again. Well, they mentioned that things were always changing for thieves, right? Yeah. That's right. They must out a necessity. Now high women are the highest. High High women. women. High women. Oh, hello. (laughs) Hi, Hi. Hi. Look at those women over there. Hello. (laughs) Hello there. I have a brandy. I'm a pervert. (laughs) <laughs> so you've just accepted that during the course of our conversation. Yeah. If there's Easily. one thing we're taking away from it, it's that Michael is a pervert and a thief. He's leaning into it. Squeam, did you say you have a brandy? I'll have a brandy oh. while we're here at the tavern. Normally oh. you're drinking rum. We were talking about the high women. And then I said, I'll have a brandy. Oh, brandy. I see. I'll is have the, a Monica. Is that because your life, your love, and your lady is the sea? How dare you twist this into a pirate thing? I'm beginning to think you are a pirate. I'm beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You are. That's what happens. 
You're looking a little green around the branches. Mm, yes, that's right. You've got an ornament that says 2014 on you. Must be a full moon. Look at all the gifts at your feet. When there's a full moon, I turn into a tree. He's a were tree. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. A were for? An ornament from 2014, that's nearly 46,000 years old. Wow. I'm very old. <laughs> and so all of that time, you're very old, but when I ask you what you were before you were a burglar, the only detail of the thousands of years of your life, you're into homebrew? The less you know about me, the better. Squeen, I can't help but notice on the wall over here, we're at the uh, Bow-Legged Moose. Um, on the wall, there's a wanted poster. Seems to be a drawing of your likeness. Oh, don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't, don't look at that. Please Sleep. don't look at it. Okay. There's nothing there for you to see. Hey, I'm going to quickly draw a mustache on it. Yeah, sure Says this guy jacked off a sparrow? That's the crime that he committed? Oh. It's that harder than you think. Because they only have a cloaca. <laughs> look, I had a very profitable sparrow farm before I became a thief. That's what he called it, like chicken ranch. I was doing sparrow husbandry and I was making sure... I was putting sparrows out to stud. <laughs> These were champion sparrows. You want a thimble full of sparrow jizz? I hope he's a juice. Do you have one? Do we have a bird? A thimble full of sparrow jizz. Why did I go back for it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's almost time for the game show. But before we get to that, I would like to say I think Squeen has made it very clear that he does not want to present as a pirate. Forget the fact that outside this very tavern, at the dock, there's a giant pirate ship with the name Squeen Dream on it. But <laughs> let us how, now move how on. How do you know? How do you know that's not someone dreaming of me? It could be. Now, let us get to the game show portion of the show. <laughs> Arnold, take it away. Oh, well, uh... <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, oh boy. <laughs> here's uh, here's how this is going to work. This is going to be called <laughs> Let's Make a Deal. Let's make a, a deal. deal. Let's make a deal. Well, let's try it again. And let's make a deal. Uh, Chunt and Usador, you're not really getting into the let's make a deal spirit. When well, they we don't one more play. time, We're one more time, guests. everyone. Oh, sorry, I was let's writing down applause. Let's make a deal. All right, I'm gonna walk around the tavern looking at people. <laughs> one more time, let's make a deal. Okay, I'm gonna walk around the tavern looking for someone that's dressed. Uh, oh. And uh, oh, here's someone's dressed up like a pirate. Uh, Squeen, would you like to play? Let's make a deal. Wait, wait, wait. My name is Squeen. I, I, <laughs> uh, Squeen, there are three doors at the back of the tavern. Number two! Okay, I didn't explain the rules. <laughs> Arnie, I, I'm going to turn into a goat and run behind the door. Okay. <clears throat> wait, wait. You got to let him choose again. This is a paradox. I know all about this. No, is it? Is oh, Arnie, it I'm turn into a paradox. One of, one of the doors always lies, one always Wait, tells the truth, no, and one's no, a spare. You, you learned about this in the Monty Hall. Yeah, I studied at Monty Hall. Did you? Yeah. How was it? Great. How's the meal plan there? It's, it's shit. Anyway, always choose what? again. Change what? your choice. A, always. B, B, C, choose <laughs> again. That's right. Always B, choose again. I'd like to change my choice. Okay. Door number two. No, that's what that's you said the first time. You did, that. You, I mean, did, you no. did choose again. You just chose the no. same thing. That's all I wanted. Always follow your heart. And always heart your follows. Oh, Guy Evmuth. Well, open up the door then. Let me see who's in there. Okay, uh, Usador, I gotta be honest. I have no idea what's but I just randomly pointed to these doors. But Chunt told you he was running back there. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I turned into a, a paradox. Let me turn back into a goat. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at those nipples. <laughs> Whoa. Let me in there. <laughs> you sir, can't you just like make a goat or something? Fine, I'll make a goat. Roth clock, not the top. <laughs> Another goat. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Give me those nipples. Here, I'm going to turn into a, a black beard. Sorry, a black bear, a black bear. <laughs> Arnie, let's play another round, but offer them something. Say would they rather do this or rather do that, but lead with what you're going to offer them. Well, the first part of the show has gone incredibly well, and now to move on to the second part of the game, Plinko. Here, come up these steps. Come up these steps. Take this disc. 
Kev, why don't you go first? All right. Okay, Let's now, see here. Now just drop. Throw it at any, throw it at anyone, or no, just drop it on this large board, and you'll see it hits these pegs as it goes down. It's lucky right. they had a plinko board here. We best do this before the full moon, or I'll break through the ceiling. What? He's a wear tree. Oh, I missed the okay. all the chaos. Here it is. Whoop. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here. Oh, go take our stuff back while he's watching the plinko. Oh, okay. I'm not going to actually take the, the nipples back. They can keep the nipples. But I wanted them. Bounce, a bounce. This is fascinating how it's bouncing like crazy. Yes, it takes a long time, too. It truly does. I would have thought this game would have been over minutes ago. Here now, Kevin, are you playing Plinko? That's right. How long has the ball been bouncing? Mostly the whole time. And where's all of our stolen I've been nipples? looking at it. It's been in the pile that's right... Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Why wasn't I watching? I'm not doing shit. <laughs> That's right. We have tricked each and every one of you, and we have stolen from the thieves. Well played, magic man, shapeshifter, and... Who's he? We never really got what an is, angle on yeah. him. What is this thing? I'm from another world. Oh, is that pa right? Pass. No, thank you. Uh, we have one more game. I'm going to host that game. Oh, uh, great. It still is a black bear. Um, uh, Squeen, this uh, this game is uh, also free. One more time. Yeah. Let's make, make a, a deal. deal. So this this portion is called a uh, uh, spoke of fortune. Um, so what's going to happen is we have some letters up on the board, Squeen, and you have to guess what letters are missing from the word. Okay. Um, Q. <laughs> The first word uh, that we have is missing one letter at the beginning. What we have Q. up on... No, it's not Q. So the word is ubbage, and it's Two missing Qs. one letter. <laughs> there are no Qs. So the word is ubbage, and there's uh, one letter missing at the very beginning. Ubbage. <laughs> okay, this is uh, waste. This is uh, something you... Th yeah, no, don't throw so away. hard on yourself, Chunt. This is a good You're segment. Sure? That's not waste. It's not a waste of time. Okay. So what letter goes before ubbage? Again, this is uh, trash or something you no, this is get a rid good, of. This is no, a good just, segment. I'll just keep gesturing at these letters. Okay, so again, this is goes before ubbage. Try a number. Oh, three. No, it's not three. It's not three. Four. This letter comes between Q and S. Could I get a hint? Um, <laughs> this is something a pirate might say. I give up. The answer was R, R. No, it says it, that would be rubbish. Yeah, rubbish. Well, why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. You're right. We must reconsider this entire portion of the show. <laughs> for we never give people the answers to the questions. Uh-oh, lightning round. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm ready. Take it away, Ani. What? No, you, <laughs> sir. It's time for <laughs> your segment. Here, I'll do one more segment. Uh, this no, is, you, this is for please. Again. Don't let him do another one. Very well. I shall conduct the lightning round this time. What is up? Uh, Rob, have you seen the sun? Today? Uh, done with it. It's a loaded question. What is three plus seven? Twet, uh, twet, uh, twet, a good twet, idea. Twet. How many times have you said hello to your mother recently? Carlos Santana. What is the letter missing in this word? Ubbish. Q. You each got a hundred points. You win. What? We've done That's it. That's the end We've of the lightning the round. We've won the game and defeated lightning itself. I've stolen lightning from the sky. That's you're how good of a thief I am. Oh, like yes. That. You're, a, you're a lightning thief? I mean, I aspire to be one. That's a pretty good answer. I mean, I will say I heard Carlos Santana in there, and that's, uh, you know, give me a real answer, make it real, or else forget about it. Uh, yeah, smooth. pretty smooth. As the winners of the lightning round, each of you with 100 points, here is your prize. As I call down lightning from the very heavens above, Arath Tothkatha Talachu. I've been struck by lightning! Squee! The other two took it really in stride being hit. Did I get hit by lightning too? Yeah. That, I barely felt it! Uh oh, I can play piano perfectly now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to possibly the best episode of Hello from the Magic Tavern to date. I guess those five years of workshopping finally paid off. Chunt the Talking Badger, or Pinwheel of Connected Dogs, or Bear, or etc. were played by Adolrefi. User of the Wizard was played by Matt Young. 
The thieves slash pirates Kevin, Squeam, and Mike were played by Mark McConville, Paul F. Tompkins, and Matt Gorley from the hilarious improv podcast Super Ego. There are improvised comedy podcasts? Why can't I be part of one of those? Oh, and hey, the Super Ego back catalog is available to own. Purchase past Super Ego seasons, live episodes, Super Ego cinema commentaries, bonus content, and more. They're yours to keep forever and ever. Simply visit www.gosuperego.com slash specials. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adel Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Earwolf producer, Kimmy Lucas. This episode edited by Garrett Schultz. Special assistance from the skeletal remains of a Christmas tree found behind the abandoned go-kart track. Wait, no, from Ryan to Georgie. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. And should it get lost in the details, let's remember we've learned the Dark Lord's name is Chris. Order those monogrammed ascots or dagger whetstones now. The holidays are just around the corner. I've got long for this world, fellas. Squeak. I'm about. Oh, no. I think that's it for me. I think I've stolen the last, last thing. wishes. How do you want to be buried? Is there anything we should do? Um, I'd like to be buried. Yes. Where? North Bethesda. Okay, really. but uh, you gotta just accept what I say. No problem. And don't, I don't want any commentary None. about it. None. Any. No, we None. won't say a thing. Your time's I mean limited. It. I mean You it. got it, buddy. I'm going to say this, and I don't want to hear any, any, Honor, ba- any back sass about it. Pinky Honor, hook swear. Honor among thieves. <laughs> I want to be buried at sea. What? Oh, okay, oh here no, we go. He's a pirate. Here we go. Oh, no. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. 